So, I believe it may have been show before last, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we finally had our first interaction with someone who was fairly new to the show, that being a call for an uprising. A call for an uprising, uh, he found us. And uh, things got a little weird in the comment section um, whenever he started saying some vaguely sexual things and Billy called him daddy and I questioned <laughs> a, a few things for a second, but uh, once I dried my butthole up and stifled my boner, I waited with a bated breath to see exactly what he had in mind because he left a lot of quasi-threatening things. And um, like I said, over the last week or two of stifling my boner, I can stifle it no longer. Call for an uprising. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> like, do you really think you can just come on to some... like? I'm calling your credibility into question is what's happening right now because you have almost half a million subscribers and you came to our – once again, obviously you have more subscribers, so you're right. Same kind of logic, I guess, <laughs> that uh, our, our our shameful display here had. So, you know, you come on our page and you you leave vaguely threatening and vaguely sexual comments. You wet the buttholes. And now you are the ultimate YouTube cock tease. So a call for an uprising. I'm especially doing you as my what's making Brandon Salty Boy this week because I know this video is going to be released on its own, cut up with your fucking channel name in it. So I'm, I'm calling your bitch guard. I, I, don't, I don't think you're going to do shit. And that, my friends, is what's making me a salty boy this week. He did. He so bring like it, a... bitch. <laughs> he did. He left like a shit ton of fucking, I like... A uh, comment saying you're on my time now, and it was like, okay, so what? What's going to happen? I keep checking his fucking, uh, you know, YouTube's like, maybe, maybe he'll say something. You know, I don't know. I just want to see what the fuck he's going to do. Nothing. I want to see his argument. That uh, I, I, this is kind of a part of this. Maybe I should have put this in there, but this is this is part of what I'm saying here. We made fun of a video where you said the upside down whopper. That they were selling at Burger King to to promote Stranger Things season three was like all a part of the satanic Illuminati agenda. Fucking because you didn't say in the video, so I'll ask here. Fucking how? <laughs> all you said was how important it is for things to be inverted when it comes to the occult and things of that nature. So like I I want to hear what you have to say. If you honestly take umbrage with anything we had to say in that video, I'd love to hear it because at this point I think. You're running a website where people have to be a member of it for two ninety nine a month. I think what you've done, sir, is found your niche. I don't think you believe any of the shit that you put out there. I really don't because you never defend it. Even these other motherfuckers out here who put out similar shit try their best to come up with some way to try to defend this. You just throw it like a turd against the wall and hope it sticks. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Upside down burger. Demonic. So the, uh, yes. so the okay, because I I remember Stranger Things because me and the wife are, are fans. I remember all sure. kind of gimmicks and stuff like that. F fast food. So the stupid Whopper that they were selling. <laughs> this, this guy is saying that because it's an upside down sandwich, mm -hmm. that is somehow <laughs> a part of a global conspiracy network of very powerful and elite people. Yes, that also, so has, that also ties into the occult. Oh, yes. it's, it's, it's magic, too. <laughs> yes. Let's not forget the magic bits. Not, not only is the upside-down fast food sandwich a part of the, the international, elitist, global conspiracy, it's magical, too. The only so problem you're, you're, is you're, you didn't say the word You're cabal. following. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah, he says cabal a lot. Well, it's a cabal. <laughs> Not organization. Like I, an I, organization. I, 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 it's it's a cabal. Cabal sounds terrible. Yes. A cabal sounds scarier. And you say cabal. Yes, it is a cabal. It is a <laughs> it a an organization that surreptitiously puts out information and, and does these things magically 
uh, and they somehow permeated through every facet of society, including the fast food restaurants down the street from me. Pretty much. He okay. has, you're, since you're, since you're called since up your now. first word, he was confused. <laughs> <laughs> and he's more upset than two syllables. Y'all had the audacity to criticize <laughs> his airtight conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck yeah. we were thinking, honestly. So just 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 so he knows, because he's probably going to watch this, I, I, I presume. Um, yeah, he Googles himself a lot. Does he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was that's the same day we put the video up, he was commenting on it. Mm -hmm. uh, on how many Google searches <laughs> he gets for himself? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I can suck my own dick, too, if I tried hard enough. I mean, but uh, uh, just just so you know, a call because I think I think uh, Doc Savage and Omni actually on a Psychic Vampire podcast. I'm going to say they've reviewed him a few times too, because I recognize yeah. the little icon. Um, sir, you are certifiably crazy. Just so you know where I stand <laughs> on this, as someone who is vaguely familiar with your brand of crazy, I also think that you you too uh, should seek mental help because no, just no, no, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hard to disagree with. Yeah. I mean, it, that that it's I, the fact you had me at Google himself. I was like, wow, okay. I, I thought you were making a remark. No, he, he actually does that. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, b bear in mind, the guy has almost half a million subscribers. We're at like right around 3,000. So he's clearly never heard of us. We'd never, we had reviewed him a few times, but we'd never put his channel name in the title or tags. The one time we did was a cut up video that was specifically about him. So the day it went up, he was leaving comments. <laughs> I see Man. you. I see you too. So I, I just, like, I just want to. I, I have, I have a, I have an urge just to make another video in the bathtub and just put his his name in the title. <laughs> just, to see the <laughs> just have him watch an hour long video of hearing like splashing sounds and me just saying weird random quotes from like George's <laughs> Jungle. <laughs> like, I don't know. I wonder if that would upset him and, and the cabal are obviously watching and controlling everything. Yeah, he Did would you say you're a part of that cabal down probably. While doing that? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he would just his baby. Well, here we go. I got upside down baby lotion here. So maybe is that an am I, am I a part shit. of the club now? Oh, fuck. That, Illuminati confirmed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> You don't know yeah. how important inverting thing is to the occult cabal we're dealing what? with here. Can, does he have a video actually? Because I've never understood that. What what is inverting things? Is that symbolic or does it actually have power over people? What is that? The quote he, I just used really... is where he stopped. Oh yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't really explain it. Like he basically like has like a second of self reflection and goes, maybe mm -hmm. I'm making a big too big of a deal out of this. Or it's the Satanist. Like, <laughs> like, oh God. It's like he'll it's it's the turd against the wall thing I was saying. He'll say it and then he'll just say something to affirm it in from his, you know, just who knows where the fuck it came from. I would presume out of his ass. And then all he's done yeah. with it. It's the electric knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> just the right amount of stupid and a right amount it's of the charisma. It's the Ooh. electric company. Ka ball. Cabal. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh shit. You got something. You got something there. <laughs> uh, yeah, they never shop at Lowe's. They have cobalt. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can put that on your website that people are paying two ninety nine a month to to peruse. That might be interesting. Can you imagine <laughs> paying two ninety nine a month to watch videos about fucking whoppers? Because this motherfucker since then has made another video about Burger King and a video about Taco Bell. A part of me thinks that Which, some of these folks just they come out. They say, you know what? I'm going to come out with the the stupidest shit ever, and I'm just going to put videos out for a week on random stuff, and I'll see which one gets the most hits. If Whopper yep. gets the most hits, then I'm going to fabricate as much bullshit as I can and see how long I can string along, motherfuckers. Like that's I honestly think that's what some of these guys do because it's it's effective. Like if you actually look yeah. at at you know your analytics, you can see what gets the most hits. And so I buy burgers it is. All right, inverted. Okay, cool. Magic. All right, cool. You know what? Uh Millie Bobby Brown, she is uh uh, uh the evil reincarnated Duchess of Belgium. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magic. You know, it doesn't matter. 
and watch that appear in one of his videos later. He's going to use that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Copyright that. He knows you're on the inside now. He, he's going to take your direct quotes. Oh, if he did that, <laughs> I'd have to learn. Dude, I swear to God, if he takes your name and then tries to do math with it, that's going to be great. Like, if you do Dragnon and you add up all the numbers and the letters, it gets to some number. And then if you divide it by three, it's 666. Haha, what's up? Does he actually do shit like that? Devil. He actually does that? I, I can't. I, I can't see that he would If you think burgers yeah. are upside down equal the cabal, then yeah. there's no way you're not into numerology. Like I they generally go hand in hand. He, he, it equals all the uh, the same uh, the same total, I guess. That the the two words "fuck you" uh, also add up to. <laughs> it would be really <laughs> fun if we got him and Dolo the pilot man in the same room. That would be a hilarious oh, conversation. Yeah. No, I I'd, I'd quit the show. <laughs> we lose so many brain okay. cells and we need ma- gotta make it happen patreon goal dude you gotta bounce that ass first <laughs> 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 no nah, man you guys don't understand like this whole thing was just like his way of showing that he knows that coming events are happening and he kept using the word cabal a week before cabal dropped as a DLC on Mortal Kombat 11 so oh. I'm just saying yeah. Mm. Man's a psychic. The fuck now? Right. 99 sensory. a month if you want to know what's going what on. They, so do they get extra videos? Or what, are, what are they actually getting out of the website? I, I, I was to subscribe to just to see. Because I got, I'm just kind of curious myself and see what, they, uh, what the fuck he talks about. But I don't want to waste two nights. He claims that he talks about things on that on that website that YouTube would block. So it's basically like I guess his version of bit shoot where he figures he can earn more money this way. And once again, he's right. The guy is is, is a very enterprising young man, which is why I believe he's full of shit. Mm, yeah. he's just going with what works. How often do you think he talks about Jewish people on that website? <laughs> Like it has to be every other word. <laughs> every no way it's not. Is always tied to Jewish people. Almost, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever heard one that wasn't. Well, especially Just if somehow. you see his video intro, it's like there's no way that's not going to be about Jewish people. Like it's like yeah. Satan <laughs> comes out and then Jesus or, makes him shit himself. Like there's no way it's not. Or George Soros, <laughs> for fuck's sake, George Soros is in charge of the world. Oh God. You didn't know. George Soros sold the Jews to Hitler when during World War II, and then you have to realize George Soros was seven. Got it. <laughs> Look, Mandela effect, okay? You guys just don't understand. With the Mandela effect, oh, yeah. like, he shifted into another dimension where he was older, right? And his older self was able to influence certain events that allowed for him to sell folks to Hitler. And as yeah. well as fuel the machine that would eventually spawn Hellboy from the comic book and the movies. And then he took that information to a yet another dimension, our current one, and then created a fortune <laughs> off of selling the creative rights to that to Guillermo del Toro or whoever the hell actually made Hellboy. I don't remember. <laughs> See, I can make up books too. I wonder what's going on in the Berenstain dimension right now. You know, I miss those fuckers. Oh, lots and lots of uh, hentai. That's that's what's going on. Lots See, I knew it. Hentai. The best lots dimension of- to possibly go to. Yeah, of course. Fuck. It's the dimension with the good DC film universe. <laughs> I, let, 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 let's hold on there for a second, okay? <laughs> so possible realities. We're not talking about possible shit, all right? <laughs> <laughs>